Welcome to Desk Geek. What I want to show you today is something that has been a lifesaver for me. Yes, I work in corporate America and I am inundated with meetings and requests and trying to memorize uh, all the various topics that have come up and the needs of the people for me to produce something, create a report, something to support a network, whatever it is. There are just tons of meetings, tons of things coming at me all at once, and I've got to try to filter out, um, you know, through my memory, what the request was, did I complete it, uh, what are the next things that I have to work on and prioritize my day. And like most people, initially I was using a notebook uh, and would write down as much as I could, and I still utilize that method at times, especially if it's something... I may not be as familiar with because for me actually physically writing something allows me to memorize it better but in the case where I'm just going to a meeting and want to take notes so I remember the topics that are covered who was there that type of thing one note is my go-to also for uh, wanting to determine uh, wanting to capture ideas for books that I'm writing or for YouTube channel ideas OneNote is my go-to source. It really is my true assistant. Uh, Siri and Cortana and all of that junk uh, don't really float my boat or do it for me. They always seem to have something that annoys me more than they help. Uh, and OneNote has become that really personal administrative assistant for me that has helped my life get organized tremendously and so I created a new section in OneNote so that I could show you some of the things. This is a completely free program. It's not technically open source but because it's you know it's distributed by this gigantic manufacturer called Microsoft you might have heard of them um, and it wasn't free initially but it became free um, later on I think back in 2014 and probably because there's another popular program out there called Evernote that started to gain traction really fast but OneNote uh, I did use Evernote for a while but OneNote in my mind has really kind of overtaken Evernote at least from a professional standpoint because let's face it most of the offices we work in utilize Windows computers Outlook calendars uh, link communications and that type of thing especially if you work in a big corporate office uh, and because of that OneNote has a lot of integrate integration there we go uh, into Outlook and other uh, office products which makes it kind of one of the premier um, to-do list note taker organizer in my mind um, I also have one note on almost every single device I use so whether it's a tablet my phone my laptop my desktop computer OneNote's probably one of the first programs that I will download. That's just how much I've kind of come to rely on it for everything that I do. Uh, it's on my work computer. It's on all four of my home computers. It's on everything. Uh, and that's because it's ability to sync across multiple platforms. And because you can create separate notebooks, so I can make a distinction between my my actual job, my YouTube channel, and personal things, uh, grocery lists, whatever it might be, and have separate notebooks for any of those items and so they don't converge on each other. And that's very important to me because I don't like my personal stuff getting mixed in with work. Uh, but OneNote has a way of keeping them separate. So that's another feature that I really love. They have some of the best syncing across devices out there. I can write something right here, go onto my phone, and it will instantly be there almost instantaneously as fast as I can open it up it's already popped in so uh, that's another feature that makes OneNote great but I want to show you some things that I've learned using OneNote that may save you some time and some cool features that they have uh, the first one I want to mention because when I first had this program I actually didn't separate everything into notebooks so you can see you've got a notebook section up here so you want to create different notebooks for your different uh, activities so I've got the channel stuff and then I've got uh, my personal notebook and things where I capture thing, uh, different items and then within that you've got your tabs here and here's you can break out between my YouTube channel you know maybe new videos I want to do uh, maybe user comments I want to respond to or whatever you want and again this is just a blank template I created 
uh, so that you guys could get a feeling for all this and didn't have to read through all my uh, personal notes and things. So um, one of the most powerful features if you're in a work environment that uses Outlook in my mind is your ability to uh, pull down uh, different templates for the type of meeting that you're in. So if you go down here into insert and then page templates, you're going to get a whole bunch of templates here. If you're in college, you can use this. I use this a lot when I was in college uh, for if you're in business. So if you want to do like a project overview, uh, personal meeting notes, formal meeting, whatever it is, if you're going to be sending the notes afterwards. But look at the project overview. I mean, it, it touches on all the main core uh, items that you would want to cover in a new project development so uh, you know the project the company the presenter the description the project goals all of that stuff then I'm going to show you something to take it a step further here what we can do is if you have synced with your um, I'm not seeing it here here we go if you have synced with Outlook if you have Outlook on your work PC or your home PC even if you don't use it as your mail provider but you use it as your calendar let me open Outlook here so I can show you what I've done. There we go. So I created this meeting here just to uh, give you an idea. Um, so Desk Geek Channel YouTube meeting that I put in the calendar section of Outlook. So this is how you get to the calendar section. I don't have Outlook as my main email client on my personal PCs, but showing you what you can do at work here. And so you've got that meeting there at 10 o'clock. And instead of having to go in and type who was there and all of that type of stuff you can just go over here to meeting details and it will pull down it automatically links with your calendar it will pull down all of your outlook calendar items for the day if i had multiple meetings they would all show up and i can just click this meeting and it's going to insert the information including who it was invited to and everything i didn't invite anybody so you don't see here but it would have pulled all of their names automatically in it gives me the subject that i set up the time all of that so you it just saves you a ton of time I love that from an organizational standpoint um, additionally you have the ability here to do all kinds of uh, web page implementation so if you want to capture a web page to uh, let me do that here so as an example of something that you're working on and you want to capture that to show folks you can go here to uh, insert and we can do screen clipping and then I can clip an area of my screen and I got my website and look it automatically pulls in that piece of web page there and what's really cool is you can see it's a picture but I can actually make text uh, the text in here come out separate and let's see ah, copy text from picture and then I can paste it right here and now you can see that it's actually tried to grab all of the text it could including some of the stuff in the video titles itself that are embedded there but it got the main points of the uh, text from my website and pulled it all down below so that's now you can go in there and edit and make changes so if you're a web designer or something like that you could grab that text and you could change it to what you want send it to the web designer they'll know exactly where you're wanting to edit it and the text uh, another feature record video so record video from webcam record audio um, you can pull down online videos from YouTube or whatnot uh, like I've done here uh, so one of my YouTube videos you can embed that directly into it so very cool it's just you can draw the drawing features have improved tremendously um, they've gotten stronger and stronger with every iteration but you know if you're wanting to make a note of something and or maybe even have a drawing tablet you have that ability to do some quick uh, notes there so OneNote I wanted to give you guys some of these hints some of these things you can do with OneNote and integrate it into your lives it will organize you it'll make you faster it'll make you better please leave your comments below if you're an Evernote user and you think it's way better then tell me why show me some of the features it has that maybe OneNote doesn't that I might have missed if there are some other things that you use to organize your life please let me know consider subscribing I will talk to you next time until then fill your brains